Hi guys, this is Ren. Uh, I'm just gonna make a quick tutorial on how to flash using QFL. So my phone is on right now, it's not connected to the PC. I'm gonna completely turn it off. Uh, so... So my phone is completely off now. I'm gonna open QFill. So I will show the settings. Well, actually, before that, there there are a couple of versions of QFill that people are using. Um, on the same thread, if you go, if you go to this thread and just search Mega, and then hit Enter. There's there's a link over here on page twelve. There, the mega dot n z. So this link already has all the files you need. <clears throat> it has the version seventy five and two hundred. I'm using seventy five. And the QFill version is right here, 2.7.451.2. So install that version. Uh, yeah, those those are the only two files you'll need. So let's get started. So first thing, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna connect my USB cable to my phone and then I'm gonna I'm gonna press volume up volume down and then power button it shows that battery option and I'm gonna let the uh, the power button go and then now I'm gonna release the volume button and just not touch my phone anymore so here I'm not doing anything right now it should detect the phone in a couple of seconds or maybe a few seconds not a couple five four three two one come on there it is so Q fill Q loader 9008 I didn't touch my phone after I released the volume buttons so it takes about 10 20 seconds I guess and then and then the phone is completely blank there's nothing on the phone it doesn't show anything so in the QFO the config, Firehose config, you should select Sahara in the download protocol, EMMC, no validation. Uh, if you have not messed with the phone, you if you haven't flashed anything manually using fastboot commands, I will say you uncheck this. Or I guess it, if you're using it for the first time, it will already be unchecked. So leave it like that. For people who have tried it and then the their phone does not have Wi-Fi and data, for them I will say just make a backup from TWRP uh, for all the partitions and then select these two options. If you are doing it for the first time, do not erase your phone. There's no need. Uh, so just and and if you if you if you erase if you if you use these two option what this tool does is it will erase all of your partitions we don't want that you will use your IMEI and the MAC addresses so leave those options like that um, uncheck it and that's how it should look I'm just gonna do cancel and then you select flat build Browse, select ddr.elf, not the light.elf, 
and then load XML raw program and then we'll auto pop up another window where it will show you the patch XML select that and open and that's it just click on download I'm not gonna download it because my phone is already rooted and it's, all, it's already running the Android Pi so that's pretty much it uh, let me show you in the device manager how it looks like in the device manager it, go to device manager then comport and this is how it should look like if it doesn't then I have posted uh, another link where there are there are I think there are three driver versions one is from Qualcomm and the, the other two are from Lenovo install those three um, three softwares and three drivers sorry and then it should auto detect and that's pretty much it I'm not gonna flash my phone because it's already good <clears throat> let's see what else I need to cover so that's pretty much it and then you just click on download um, I should start flashing and then just follow the process I listed on the thread the first page the first post is for first page the first post is for 8.1 the second post is for 9.0 and then follow this command from fastboot and you should be good I guess that's it for now thanks bye